stew chicken is one of the most delicious and one of the most popular chicken dish in the Caribbean. See how I make mine. So I washed my chicken with lemon and now I am about to season it up. So I'm putting in some pink Himalayan salt, some black pepper. I'm also putting in some cut up veggies I have here. So I have some onions, garlic, some peppers, and I also have some thyme. I'm putting in my fresh green seasoning, which I have the recipe for that on my channel. I will leave the link in the description. I'm also putting in some soy sauce and then I'm gonna mix all of this up. Then I'm going to put in some Worcestershire sauce. Once that is in and it's mixed up, I'm going to cover this with a plastic and leave this overnight to marinate. You can leave it for up to three hours, but overnight is best. So I took my chicken out of the refrigerator the next day and now I am about to make my browning. So I'm putting in some brown sugar, but I ran out of brown sugar so now I'm adding in some white sugar also to that granulated sugar. You could use granulated sugar to make your browning also to brown your chicken. So feel free to use whatever sugar you want but I'm mixing it today because I realized I didn't have enough brown sugar. So right now I'm just putting it in. You want this to look nice and frothy like it looks right now. Once it starts looking like that your sugar is ready and you're going to start adding in your chicken marinated chicken pieces. You're going to put the chicken in there and you're going to mix it up. You want this chicken to get nice and coated with that brown, brown, nice browning. Um, so you're going to just keep stirring this and just let it fry down for about five minutes. Once it's fried down, I um, covered the pot so that the chicken could release its own juices. I'm going to add in some water. I'm going to use the same bowl that I marinated the chicken in. So whatever residue is in there, I just fill some water and I'm just pouring it over the chicken. Now you're going to just let this cook chicken braise down in that water. You're going to cover it with a towel. I'm putting in two cubes of shadow bunny. I freeze my shadow bunny, so that's what I'm using. And I'm covering the pot. Now, after about 15 to 20 minutes, the chicken will look like this now you're going to adjust for your seasoning so you're going to put in some more salt if it if it need that you know you're going to taste it and you know just put salt to taste if you need more um, pepper in there whatever you need more of you put it in so i'm putting in some ketchup which is an ingredient that i always put in my stew um you put that in and you just stir it and taste it make sure that it tastes really good and then you're gonna let's let this cook dry out a little more because you want that sauce to be nice and thick once it's all dried out and it tastes really good you will know that it's ready so i'm putting in some creole seasoning i don't use um golden ray so for my rich creole flavor i'm putting in creole seasoning so this is the finished chicken you see it's all dried down you want to leave a little gravy for whatever you're eating it with if you eat it with macaroni pie if you're eating it with bread whatever you're eating it with or just rice i mean you wouldn't you're gonna need your gravy so this is my finished chicken it was so delicious it smells so good i ate this with some rice and as i said you can eat this with whatever you like you can eat it just like that like straight from the bowl there um i ate a few pieces before i ate it with my rice i mean this chicken was the most delicious and very flavorful so i really hope that you guys try this recipe please like subscribe and share this video and always remember my food is cooked with passion and served with love god bless bye